Okay, warriors, let's go ahead and start with our math song. Math! Math! We like it! We love it! We want some more of it! M-A-T-H! M-A-T-H! Math! All right, so let's see. Uh, Gavin, can you read us our objective for today? I can solve one step subtraction problems using the part part all month. All together? I can solve one step subtraction problems using the part part whole model. Yes, so by the end of our lesson today, you guys are going to be able to look at a subtraction word problem. And using the part part whole model, you guys can solve your problem. So we've been working with part part whole with addition, and you guys are doing really well with that and feeling really comfortable with that and so today we're going to move forward and start with subtraction. He's excited. I'm excited too. All right so we're going to be looking at the numbers given to us in a word problem and kind of look at it. What is it asking us to do? Is it subtraction? Is it addition? We're focusing on subtraction today but do we always just assume it's subtraction? No, we have to really look at the numbers and think about the numbers and how they're working together. So, now sometimes we have math books that are like one big long word problem, or a bunch of, I should say, a bunch of little word problems in one. And today we're gonna read a story called Bunny Money. Who's heard of Bunny Money? Some of you? Have you heard of the show Max and Ruby? This is Max and Ruby, and it's a story about Max and Ruby. Yeah. And they, go on a bit of a fun trip and they run into a problem and we're going to work together to figure out what that problem is and we're going to do some math along the way so when you guys are ready go ahead and be slanting crisscross applesauce eyes on me Ooh, juliana looks ready to learn gabby looks ready to learn okay so put this down for a moment bunny money by rosemary wells What do you see? Tristan. Dollars. You see dollars? Okay. So maybe this book's going to be about... Money. 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 Did something else give that away? Yes. What? The title. The title. All right. So, Max's sister Ruby saved up a wallet full of money for Grandma's birthday present. So... Looking here, I see a $5 bill and a bunch of ones. So let's count it together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how much money is Ma are Max and Ruby starting out with? $15, thank you. And would that be considered a part or a whole? Give me a thumbs up if you if you think you know. If they're starting out with fifteen dollars, would that be considered a part or a whole? What do you think, Carly? Um, I think that um that it's the whole. It's the whole, and why do you think that? Because. They've been saving up. Mm-hmm. So, you think it's a whole? Does anybody agree with Carly? Anybody disagree with Carly? We have a couple disagrees. Okay. So let's let's look for it. Let's start out by writing on our part part whole box. If Max and Ruby are starting out with fifteen dollars, that's going to be their whole. They're starting out. They have a amount of money. So we're going to write fifteen in our whole box. Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to buy Grandma's Grandma a music box with skating ballerinas, Max, said Ruby. Get your lucky quarter and let's go shopping. So why are they shopping? Abby? To get Grandma's music box with dancing ball I, I skater <laughs> dancing ballerinas. Yeah, okay. Ruby took one dollar from her wallet to pay the bus fare. Now, I want you to make a prediction for me for a minute. Taking a dollar out of her wallet, 
Is that going to be a problem where we are taking parts away from a whole or putting parts together to make a whole? Are we taking something away or are we adding something on? Make a prediction in your mind for a moment. And then I would like to someone to share their thoughts. Sophia, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it's going to be um, take away because, like, um, Ruby, um, she um, took um, one of her dollars out to give it to the man that, to drive the bus. Mm -hmm. So what would be my part? Um, mine. Um, it will just be 14. Okay. Ooh, good job, Sophia. You just said, so, so in case you guys didn't hear, Sophia said that the part is 14. How did you figure that out? Because, like, like she had $15, but then she had to give one to the bus man. Yes. So she took one out of her um, wallet and she gave it to him. And now, he, now she only has $14. Well, you are just so smart. Because you actually answered my question and then the next one I was going to ask you, all in one. So Sophia figured out that the first part is one because she's giving the one dollar to the? Man. To the man, the bus man, right? And now she has how many left over? Fourteen. Now she has fourteen dollars left over. So Sophia, what would be my number sentence for this problem? Fifteen minus one equals fourteen. Equals fourteen. Let's give Sophia a cheer. That's awesome. Great job. All right. The bus stopped at Rosalinda's gift shop. In the window, oop, in the window was a music box with skating ballerinas. Isn't it beautiful, Max? Said Ruby. Thirsty, said Max. You may buy a very, very small lemonade, Max, said Ruby. Next door in Candy's corner window were hundreds of vampire teeth. Max knew that Grandma would love a set of teeth with oozing cherry syrup inside for her birthday. <sighs> Sticky pages. He bought them instead of the lemonade. Two dollars, please, said Candy. Candy? That's her name. Oh. Hmm, two dollars, please. So Max is spending how many dollars now? Two. Two dollars. Is that a, considered a part or a whole? Part. part. I'm hearing part. Whole. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's a part. Devin, why? How, why is it a part? Because he's like, he's like giving away money. Mm -hmm. And, and when you, and when you're when you're giving away, that means it's a part. Oh, you're giving that part of that away. It's a part. Okay. So, what would my part be? Two. Two. Good. And what is my whole now? It's 14, right? Because we already figured out they only have 14 left of their whole, right? So that would be 14. So what's the other part, boys and girls? 12. 12. Who can tell me the number sentence that goes along with this? Trina D. 2. Think about it real quick. Number, my number sentence. 14. Yes. Minus. Minus 2. Was 12. Great job. Okay. Max wanted to make sure the teeth worked, so he put them in. These pages. <gasps> the teeth worked perfectly. Oh, no. Ruby had to take Max to the laundromat. Why? Why did I have to take him to the laundromat? Maddie. Because he got all the cherry red syrup on him and he can't go to the store with syrup on him. They got all dirty. So they went to the laundromat. The soap cost a dollar, the washer cost a dollar, and the dryer cost another dollar. 
So how much money did they have to spend at the laundromat? Three. Everybody. Three. Three dollars. All right, let's use our part, part, whole model. Who can help me out? We spent another three dollars. So what is that gonna look like? Juliana. It's gonna look like, um, we're going to start off with $12 as a whole. Why? Because that's the biggest number. Where did you get 12 from? Where Devin did his problem. From here? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. And what's my part? Your part is three. Why? Because it's the minus, it's the number that is minusing from the 12, which is taking the money. Okay. And it equals, it equals nine. Nine, and awesome. Your equation is 12 minus three equals nine. 12 minus three equals nine. Let's give it up for Juliana. Nice job, Juliana. All right, money down the drain, Max, said Ruby. Hungry, said Max. Does Ruby seem very happy right now? No. <laughs> no. What the, wait, what did she say? She said, money down the drain, which is just, a, it's like a saying for money's gone, down the drain, spent. And she's not happy because what's that money supposed to be for? Grandma's birthday. So she's not very happy. It was lunchtime. Max finished off a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, two coconut cupcakes, and a banana shake. And lunch cost $4. Oh, oh man. They're, they're not saving their money. Not saving their money very well. All right, who can help me out? We're saving your money. Who can help me out? Shashwa, walk me through it. So, 12 is the whole? Where did you get 12 from? From the, the, from the equation. Um, from this equation? No, from, from that equation. The part yeah. is the whole. Is the whole. Okay, so the not good. Nice job. The nine is the whole. And what would be my part? My part would be. Oh. <coughs> Wait, who's older? So, how much did lunch cost? You can help out, Shoshpot. How much was lunch? Layla? Four dollars. So what would my part be? Your part would be four. Part would be four. Okay, and so what would my number sentence be to figure out my other part? It would be nine minus four equals five. Equals five. So our five is our other part. Good job, Joshua. All right. Money is running through our fingers, Max, said Ruby. They walked all the way back to Rosalinda's gift shop without spending another penny. So what have they been spending their money on so far? Let's see, Lady. All the stuff that Max wants. All the stuff that Max wants. What specifically are they spending money on? Um, his lunch. Lunch. The teeth. The teeth. Okay, can anybody help? Pick a friend. The laundry place? The laundromat? Yeah. Okay, very good. And boys and girls, are all of these things that they're spending money on, are those parts or holes? Parts. I'm hearing some holes, I'm hearing some parts. Let's take a look at our our math so far. The, this is, these are all the numbers of the things that we've spent money on, right? Mm -hmm. Are those holes or parts? parts? Parts. The hole keeps getting smaller, mm -hmm. right? Because of what we started out with. All right, let's keep going. I love the ending of this. I'd like to buy the music box with skating with the skating ballerina on it for Grandma's birthday, Ruby. Ruby said to Rosalinda. It's a hundred dollars, said Rosalinda. A hundred dollars, said Ruby. The ice skates are made of real gold, Rosalinda explained. Did I have enough money to buy that? No, no. we're way too no. small. 
And why is that, Devin? Why aren't they not going to have enough money? Because, because it, because they already have five dollars right now, and one hundred is way more. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to afford that, right? All right, let's see what happens. Ruby looked in her wallet, and the only thing left was a five dollar bill. Ooh. Is that a coincidence? Or is that how we figured this out? We only have five dollars left in our story. And what's our new hole? Five. Five dollars. So our math is matching the story really perfectly. You guys are doing awesome. Here's an idea, said Rosalinda. Bluebird earrings that play, oh, what a beautiful morning, are on sale for four dollars and gift wrap is free. We'll take them, said Ruby. Ruby gave Rosa Linda the $5 bill for the bluebird earrings and went to pick out the wrapping paper. <coughs> $4 for the earrings. $1 change, said Rosa Linda. You take care of this dollar, young man. So, uh, how much were the earrings? $5. She paid with five, but how much were the earrings? $4. $4. So, what's our new hole, everybody? Five. And what's our part? Four. Good. And what's our number sentence all together? Five minus four equals one. one. So, that's our other part. They only have one more dollar left. Now, it said you take, she said, you take care of this dollar, young man. Hmm. Uh -oh. Do you trust Max? No. I don't know if I would trust him either. He hasn't proven to be a good money saver, has yeah. he? Yeah, he, he is even littler. <laughs> yeah. Max went back to Candy's Corner. Glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth were half price. Most people like glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth much better than the oozing cherry kind, said Candy. Max bought a set for $1. Oh, no. So... Hmm, he spent another dollar. Ah, uh, May, can you help me out with my last part, part whole box? So the whole is one dollar? Yes. And the part is one dollar? Okay. And the other part is, I mean, the number sentence is one minus one equals zero, and the other part is zero. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna get really mad. <laughs> We're out of money. So, oh no, Max said Ruby, you've spent our last dollar. How are we gonna pay for the bus ride home? Anybody have any ideas? How are they gonna get home? Turn and talk to your partner. How are they gonna get home? <laughs> One. I heard some great conversations going on. Let's see what happens. Max reached into his pocket. Out came his lucky quarter. Ruby used it for the telephone. Grandma will have to pick us up, said Ruby. I hope she won't be angry. Grandma was not angry at all. She was so thrilled she played the musical Bluebird Earrings and wore the vampire teeth all the way home. Wait, so Max actually, uh, Max actually was getting stuff for her. Yeah, he got her what? Vampire. The vampire teeth. And what did Ruby get her? The earrings. So did they solve their problem in the end? Yes. They did. But are they going home with any money? No. No. No, they're not. They're not. Sophia. I think they're. I think they were spending all their money yeah. to get those earrings. I think. Well, that's all they have left, right? And then I think Max was um was gonna get that um that um cheese all along because because her grandma likes it. Yes.
Exactly. Yes. I thought that their grandma was going to be on the bus, and once they went to the bus, the door opened, and, and then grandma was like, hop in, you can get free. <laughs> A free ride home. All right, so warriors, I need you looking at me. Three, two, one, eyes on the speaker. So as you can see, our book is kind of like a whole bunch of word problems put together. So now we're gonna look at an example of a word problem. And, whoop. Paper's not working out. Paper's not working out. We're gonna look at a word problem. And we're gonna look and we're gonna try to figure out what the word problem is asking us to do. How are the numbers working together? And a part, part, whole box is just one strategy that you can use. You guys have a lot of strategies in your brains that you've learned for addition and subtraction, and this is just another strategy to help figure out, okay, is this a subtraction or is this an addition problem? Part, part, whole box is really great to help us do that. So, let's read this together. Max went shopping for Grandma's birthday party and bought 15 balloons. Some were red and some were blue. If seven were red, how many balloons were blue? Who would like to talk to me about how we can use this part, part, whole box? to solve our equation and figure out what it's asking. Juliana. You can solve it by starting at seven because it says seven were red, so that's, um, so that's a number clue, plus that's also a part. No, it's not, yeah, that's a part. How do you know it's a part? Because 15 is a whole. How do you know? Because it says Max went shopping for Grandma's birthday party and bought 15 balloons. Some were red and some were blue. Seven were red. How many were blue? So 15 in all. So we're trying to figure out how how many balloons were blue. Okay, and how do we do that? So what you can do is there's two ways. You can minus seven from 15, or you can count up seven all the way to 15. Okay. What do you prefer? Counting up is easy, but um, I'm going to do minus things since that's our lesson today. Okay. So 15 minus 7 equals 8 because 7 plus 8 equals 15. Ooh, so you went back backwards and checked your thinking. Okay, so what's our other, what's our part? Your other part is 8. Very good. Nice job, Juliana. So we know that Juliana is looking for number clues. We're given the number seven and we're given the number 15. And now we have to look at what it's saying in the word problem to figure out if they're parts or wholes. Now, if the problem that we're given gives us the whole and one part, how, do we know if that's addition or subtraction? Yes. Yeah. It's what? Subtraction. What happens if they're given two parts? Addition. It's addition. So in this case, it's subtraction because we were given a part and a whole. Nice job. All right, one more example, and then we're going to do some on our own. All together, let's read. Grandma received 45 gifts at her birthday party. Ruby and Max helped carry all of her gifts home. On their way to Grandma's house, they lost 18 of the gifts. How many gifts did they still have? about it for a second. Look for your number clues. Look, think about what the words are asking us and what information is given to us. And how we can solve for our missing part. Think about it for a second. I'd like to explain it to us. Mariah? Um, well, I think the 45 goes in the hole. The 45 goes in the hole, why? Because um, it's subtraction. And How do you know that the 45 is the hole? Because um, it's 
the biggest number and um, subtraction always has to start with the biggest number. Okay, that is true. Um, Okay, I see what you're saying there. So let's continue with your explanation. So we have 45 in our hole. And then we have 18 in the park. Okay, so what would our number sentence be? Forty-five minus eighteen is our problem. Now we have to solve it. I want all of you guys solving it in your brains right now. Everybody needs to be participating. Solving it. Forty-five minus eighteen. Let's work this through this together, Mariah. Um, I don't want anybody to just shout out the answer to Mariah. Does anybody have a strategy that could help that could help her? Go ahead and pick on somebody to kind of help guide you through this. Okay, you can <coughs> use base ten blocks by having four tens and five ones, and then you take away a 10 and 8 ones. Oh, no, you can't do 8 ones. So... Hang on, I, let me see. So you said you have 4 10s ten and, and five, 5 ones. Oh! Now yeah. And then you have... And then I have a, a 1 10 and 8 ones too. So well, then I took away um, a 10 Wait, yeah, I took, wait, I... So you're taking, you want, you want to take this away from so, this? Yeah, so I took away a three, three tens. <coughs> no, I took away one, two tens. You took away two tens? Wait, one ten, and I took... Oh, wait. since I can't take away eight ones and inside, so I cr took all those fives and I went to the bank. <laughs> okay. And I told the bank manager that I need to split a ten quickly. So <laughs> I took the ten okay. and I broke it apart. So now I did, I had eight and uh, there was seven left, so I added all this together and it got 27. Wait. Okay, so, okay, so what you did was, what I hear that you say you went to the bank, I love that analogy, you went to the bank, asked the bank manager to split quickly, so you took your 10 away and he gave you ones instead, uh -huh. and then you took away, you have to take away eight, so you took away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. And now we have seven and two times plus seven ones equal twenty seven. So your another part Ooh. is twenty seven. So base ten blocks is just one strategy that Maddie used. Does that make sense, Mariah? Mm -hmm. Kind of a different way of thinking about numbers? Okay. Nice job, Maddie. Let's give her a round of applause. And let's give Mariah a round of applause. Both of them. Okay. So, we are going to be problem solvers. You guys are going to go back to your seats when I say go. At your seats, you're going to find a paper that looks like this. Thank you, Sophia, for slanting and looking at me. Thank you, Ame, for slanting and looking at me. Awesome. Okay. At your desks, you're going to find a worksheet. Your partner that you're working with, it's the same partner you work with every day. You each have the same worksheet because you're working on it together. 
But here's the thing, there's three different versions out there. There's a worksheet A, B, and C. So some of the class is gonna be working on problem A, some of the class is gonna be working on problem B, and some of the class is gonna be working on problem C. Don't worry about what other people are doing, just focus on what you and your partner are doing. Every paper is the same. It's different problem, different numbers, but it's the same format. So look here. You're gonna read each word problem. You're gonna solve the word problem by using the part, part, whole diagram here. You're gonna write the number sentence and then explain your thinking in words. Just like we've been doing together up here, you're gonna try it with a partner. You're going, like I said, read it. You use the part, part, whole bo uh, boxes to help you create a number sentence and explain your thinking. Now, you only have one problem to do with your partner. This should take probably about five minutes or so, okay? When you're done, I'm gonna call on some volunteers to come up to the Elmo and explain to us their thinking. If you are done, Juliana, before I say time, instead of just sitting there, flip your paper over and there's a couple <coughs> more examples you can work on, okay? Do you have to get this done? No. No, it's just for early finishers. If you have an extra minute or two, you can start doing this. But this is your priority right here, okay? Right here. Are there any questions? Cassie. Will our partners have the same worksheet? Yes, so your partner, so your partner and you both will have the same worksheet and you're gonna be working on it together and talking about it and talking math and talking strategy, but you're all, you're gonna fill out your own. So every, that's a great question, I'm glad you said that. So let's say for example, Sara and Sophia are partners. They're gonna talk about it and work together, but they're each gonna fill out their own paper. Okay? All right, are we ready? Yes. Any questions? What do you do when you're done with this front side? Flip it to the back and work. Flip it over and start on your early finishers. And I'm going to give you guys about five minutes. Okay? Yes. What if we're done with the early, the early finishers thing? Um, don't worry about that because we only have about five minutes and you should be able to, you probably won't be able to get through everything. So don't worry, just focus on this front part. Don't and don't rush to get to the back. Focus on this front part. Do your best. And I want I want to I want to be hearing math. I want to be hearing the dialogues that you guys have with each Wait, other about how you're like solving. Really fun or no, the back is the same as the front. Same thing. Why, what? Wait, so, so why did you say don't rush to get to the back? Because I don't want you to feel that the back, this back is there for you if you get done early. This is not a priority. This is like, think of this like a may do, and this is a must do. Okay, oh, think of it like that. Because, so because, now I see like, because like, because people might be thinking that, that you have to get through it. Yeah, you don't. All right, my mathematicians, are you ready? Yes. All right, go ahead and go back to your seats. Do you have questions, Sarah? Uh -huh. So, like, what if we don't finish that first You will. Go right now. You have time. You're having one problem. You'll get it done. Say I think Maddie is reading with her partner. Do, do you work together? We have to work together. Max had 35 max. We got 43. I'm going to have a few. How many tissues remain in the box? So 53. 
So, there will be fish. Underline the main. What do your main need for clues that they're giving you? So let's check our answer. 16 plus 9 equals. Awesome. Thanks. Gavin, how do you know that that's the whole? So, the number sentence is made. Okay. Now let's do Explain your thing. How did you solve this problem? I. Because it tells us. <laughs> Not good. This. By. Under. So we're just gonna do this for ourselves for the same thing. How are we doing this here? Good, good. Doing good? Yeah. What are our what are our number clues that are helping us solve this? It's 30 of so Trino, how do you know that 35 is your whole? Yeah, I call it break apart. It's minus 19. Because you're starting with that and you have to take away 19? Mm-hmm. It does. And then we have four Okay. Make sure you show all your work on how you're subtracting. I want to see whatever strategy that you're using. Where do we put the strategy? I would love to see your work. I know you're excited. I can see that smile. Yes, show me your work. That's great. Then I can see how you're solving it. So we have the red camera. So you're running okay, space you want to to solve this? I'm going to use... Okay, so well, how would you do that? Can you use splitting? Minus some of the head rock. Um, I'm doing base 10 blocks. Okay, base 10. Trina, you can solve that subtraction problem however best fits your brain. As long okay. as I, I want to see the part part whole box and the number sentence, just solve the number sentence. Whatever strategy works for you is fine. Okay. Do we count these? Do we count these? 19. For what? Yeah, do that 10 and 9. And then you do that 30 and 5. So you have 42, take away 16. That's four. So if you're going to use base 10 blocks, you have to take away 16 blocks from 42. Oh man, why did I do that? Can you take 6 from 2? I mean, can you do, can you take, can you do 2 minus 6? No. So you remember Maddie talked about going to the bank and switching out a 10 for 10 ones? Why don't you try that? Okay. Keep going with that. Wait, 16? What? The 25 minus 40 equals 16. So are, did you write... Oh, no. That equals 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What are these here? Oh, those are the ones you switched out. And then you crossed them out. Yeah, so you would include that. Thank you. Okay, how about we do it together? Wait, is it... Wait, the answer is 21. Yes, because they're a part of your problem. That's how I got it. I need 41. So you guys don't have to use base 10 blocks. That's, that's what worked for Maddie's brain. Yeah. If you have something a different way, if you want to do it, that's another strategy. Wait, you added a plus. That's fine. Ooh, I got this. Can you use that? No. I know, I, I did that on my phone. Yeah, you can count so you I, can. I think I got the answer. You can use base 10 blocks. Let me see this. 30, 10. Oh, no. I see Saloni's using a number string. Number line? Fabulous way to do it. Five minus awesome. nine. I'll go back and check on you just a minute. Okay. How are you guys doing over here? Is it 21? No. I think I'm writing 16. Um, let's try to figure out how we do it. She did play a different way than I did. Okay. Let's say we use. That's all right. You guys, get whatever, you do whatever way works for you. Mm -hmm. How about how do we solve this problem? Well, we really did count the count batch. I don't know. Hey, Devin, why don't why don't we um why don't we do a strategy right here? You see, sweetie. Yeah. Hey, how about number one? Can you do two minus six? Oh. Can you do that? Oh. 
Yeah, I know, but I want to draw a strategy, too. So, what did you do over there, Kenneth? Okay, so I want you to work with your partner and I want you to explain that because see, look here. So Sophia did try to do 2 minus 6 and she got 4 because 6 minus 2 is 4, right? But with subtraction, we can't go backwards. So, Sophia, Kenneth did a great strategy that's very similar to yours, and I'm going to have her talk to you about that. I want you guys to discuss how you solve that problem. Okay, Kenneth, so I want you to work with her on that. Okay, so let's start at okay, explain your 16. thinking. I know it's hard. If you used um, splitting, that could have helped you. Splitting, okay, I'm gonna go use. You. you can't. Are you really gonna erase it? Ow. Okay. Mm, I can just do splitting here. Okay, so. Close. But now add 25 plus 16 to check your work. Minus. So I will go the other way to check your work. That's how you can find out if it's correct or not. And then minus that. Okay. Minus. Okay. So you did. What's nine let's get minus? Let's number line. What's nine 42, minus 20? Take away 10 is 32. Take away another 6 would be 32 to 25 is how many? Oh, I know Seven? Seven. And what are you trying to add? Oh, or subtract? Yeah. Six. Twenty-four. Twenty-one. No, that's eight. Twenty-six. There you go. Six. Twenty-six. Oh, twenty-six. Oh, it's oh, so, so close. close. Seven. <laughs> so close. Seven. Wait, it's twenty-six? Twenty-six, of course. Hey, guys, about thirty seconds. Thirty seconds? Oh, thirty more seconds. We got 16. I guess you can see when everybody else comes up if we're right or they're wrong. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think it's addition. How is it addition? Because I kind of looked on the board and and it was subtraction, and it was, and the hole was below, and this one's on top. Okay. Okay, How but, so Devin, so this is just another reminder that when you're dealing with part, part, whole, it doesn't matter if where that is. We know that the two parts equal the whole. Whether the hole's on top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you did great. Would you want to share this with the group? Do you feel comfortable doing that? Sure. You and, well, you really and your partner. You and your partner have different answers, though, which is very interesting. Did Wait, you guys discuss that? Different? I have 16. Mm. Juliana, honey, you wrote the answer here, but then you wrote something different. I know. I accidentally Oh, okay. So you guys, that's right. All right. Eyes on me in five, four, three, two, and one. That's all right. Um, some of you guys got to the last part. Some of you, excuse me, did not. That's okay. Um, we need to move on to, we're going to have, um, Devin's actually going to share out his thought. And Juliana also, guys, you guys are partners. Come on up. So you guys can put your paper on the Elmo. Um, what are you? It's okay. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's really boring. I sort of see it now. That's better. That's okay. Okay, so why don't you explain to us? So remember, we're tracking the speaker, so we should be hands free. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, go ahead and start your explanation. So I. So I knew that that was 
that I had to start from 35, so I started from 35, and I knew I had to minus 19, so I minus 10, and and then I got to 25, and then I minus 9, and then I got 16, and I got 16. And the number sentence is 35 minus 19 equals 16. Okay. Thank you, Devin, for his explanation. Um, that was a great explanation on how you solved your subtraction problem once you got there. Juliana, will you talk to, talk to us real quick about, you can move your paper over, talk to us about how you figured out your subtraction problem. How did you figure out that it was subtraction? Well, I figured it out by, uh, I figured it out because I read the problem. It says Max had thirty-five. Max had thirty-five dollars that he that he got from his birthday. He decided to buy Ruby a book at the book fair, and it cost nineteen. How much money does Max have left over? It doesn't say how much money. How much money does he? How much money does he all together? Because he's spending and not and not saving. Okay. So. Thirty-five was the whole because that's how much money he had, and nineteen was a part because that's how much he spent. Spend it, and I needed to figure it out the total. So what Devin and I did is we figured it out. The first way we figured it out was um, mine subtracting, but that didn't work out because we thought it was it was eleven at the first time, and then we tried something else. Uh, counting on, and Devin said it was 17, but he added one more. And so I counted on, I said, Devin, that's actually kind of wrong because I counted it too because I kind of disagreed with him. So I got 16, I told Devin, and then he redid it, and then it got 16. Okay, awesome. Nice job, you guys. So I actually kind of like to hear that you guys disagreed on something and then you worked together and then you figured it out together and you guys kind of learned from each other. I think that's awesome. Okay, thank you, go ahead and have a seat. Boys and girls, go ahead and um, flip your paper over to the back.